right from the start japan knew this was a must win encounter and plenty of the attack did come from them quite predictably there were a few clear cut chances that japan couldn't capitalize on but the penalty corner is what they needed and shota yamada provided japan with the opening they continued to attack china had nary a circle entry in the first half so secure and so convincing was japan's dominance and that china really didn't have too much of an opportunity in the first half it was all the blue samurai making the play picking up the penalty corners and the threatening the chinese defense at every possible opportunity this was an opportunity that they would definitely rue ryoma wuka played that extravagant backhander this was another opportunity for the chinese for a change as they got back into the match progressively better the penalty corners weren't really accounted for but china held better possession press forward march from march more purposefully and these shots you see are a result of that japan did however find another penalty corner to score off at the end of the fourth quarter the china managed to pull one back there was first a big strike by weibo out followed by suzu out it was reported by japan but it, it, there was no question about the legitimacy of the goal eventually this is how china did pull one back after copying much of the heat from the japanese attackers china did want to press on the advantage here the captain chang liang lin couldn't control the ball japan's last attempt proved futile but japan however notch up a 2-1 win very little to choose between the two as far as the shots are concerned japan had nine more circle penetrations